step back. Uh, let's see how that works. So we were trying to invade this with a ton of zombies. Zombies. The tough fight, so he's gonna do it. And also, not evolve, so more infection. Just worried we um, don't get everyone there, but then don't have enough zombies left to invade that last one. <laughs> Two million zombies. Keep the fight going. A few million there. The zombies are dying out. Canada is coming. That's what Extreme cold wave in Canada is causing zombies partially to freeze. Definitely reducing the severity. No, no more bases. No more bases. New Zealand. Ah, there's a few zombies. A few healthy people in New Zealand. Okay, looks like that's going to be the end of it. Oh man, that was a good one. Looks like the the key is actually to have lots of zombie hordes. That was really awesome. Getting zombie hordes in a million, so have maybe one country. Don't spread the disease and wait to spread it via zombies. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, our zombies are dying off now. Bitcom has decided zombie threat to New Zealand is over and allocates more resources to expand the common project globally. Mm, yeah, because you don't want the zombie hordes to be dead. First time you actually invade them. Castro interrupt something with our using DNA point. That's great. Mm. Ah, seven billion. Pretty good attempt. I thought I might get it for a few seconds there. And yeah, we definitely want that zombie horde in the millions. Definitely pushes your uh, advantage, momentum advantage when you does invade a country. However, you don't want the blue guys to get too into too many spots though, as well, because then it becomes really hard to actually um, get the zombies to convert the population. More zombies. Humanity has survived nerves <laughs> and the zombie apocalypse. Almost everyone that the survivors will find it hard to build civilization. Okay. Let's uh, You're a necrovirus. Maybe Australia <laughs> as a uh, self-contained place to get the zombie horde going and then in the millions we infect somebody else. <laughs> I'm sure if we've got enough population to do that though. 330 million. 140. West Africa. Love sickness has infected its first human week but used to hot temperature. <laughs> It must evolve using DNA points to infect more people. Oh, Love sickness is a necrovirus with extreme regen abilities combined with aggressive metabolic demands, but most of its genetic structure is mystery. Love sickness is a disease. The world is gonna find a cure for it or not. <laughs> Everyone has been involved. They have spent a DNA for them. And five people. Latest research shows human countries are getting significantly wetter due to global warming. Orange bubbles. 
Love sickness is spreading from person to person in West Africa and will grow exponentially. You control the plague indirectly by law. Plague. I refer to love in real life now as the plague. It's spreading from person to person. So we almost don't need drug resistance as long as we got the um, get to the zombie stage. <laughs> Libya has been infected. Important first step in more than two more. A field, grown up a plague. Thousands of this epic. Nigeria. More bad Affecting more countries. Transmitted and developed a fever symptom of love fever. Hypersalivation. <laughs> Photophobia. Affected more people in the world than TV. In a normal checkup, a doctor in West Africa found a new disease which is being named blood sickness. early on actually focus on try that go very early for a, a zombie horde so it doesn't actually spread the virus but we've got a bunch of population that can be our zombies and we just then evolve it into a massive million strong zombie horde All these can go to different countries. Delirium, that's fine. First death from love sickness has been confirmed in West Africa. Bad luck or the beginning of something terrible. World infected with love. Yeah. 
for the early one. I'm going to go this route and get the millions strong. Starting to turn infected corpses into zombies and will grow more powerful over time. Humanity has no idea what's about to happen. Fifth ability. Okay. Also, you need to uh, save some for the evo evolution. You just spring the day on two people. Increase the severity of love sickness to make zombies more deadly. At the same time, evolve to slow the rate of zombie decay and make it harder for humans to kill zombies in combat. <laughs> Still spreading the main disease. Pause, pause. Okay, I want to. This is hundreds of a thousand. Okay. This one reduces the zombie decay in what countries? Faced with overwhelming evidence, governments confirmed love sickness can trigger pathological aggression in corpses, but say that this situation is under control. Totally under control. Okay. 2,000 zombies, 47,000, 100,000 zombies, 5 zombies. that the zombies are the way to actually spread it. Oh, the com project, okay. We are gonna try and start focusing on that one. Close the neighbors infected. Salivation sentences. Which one should you be? Oh, okay. More zombies in Iraq. Cure is 25% complete. This is how quickly you close borders and just run into the zombie horde. <laughs> Establish operations in new country. Military planes depart from Turkey at dawn. No. I didn't actually have to do that. It feels like a bit of a waste.
dead eight million zombies. Yeah, I think I'm a bit. Uh, might have done it a little bit too early. I want to save points to get this millions um, upgrade as well. It's going to take me a while to get there. I'm going to try and wait, wait it out. I have built up significant defenses in Turkey against zombie citizens. I'll prepare the enemy for them. Oh well, New Zealand's got a bit. Everyone's dead already. One zombie. Ah, the zombies were too hungry. What? Because I ran ahead of my zombie curve. So we were here because we killed my zombies. Yeah, those look a little bit of a fail. World zero zombies, okay. Nobody infected, nobody zombies. Humanity survived love sickness and zombie apocalypse. Eh. It worked. It just needs to um, wait a little bit longer before we actually do the conversion to zombies. Recent events involving the Danish Mafia have prompted the German Chancellor to commission a new investigation into organized crime and social behavior. 
Danish Mafia. Those, those people... Danish... Stress has infected hundreds in West Africa, increasing chance that for infected, an infected person will infect a healthy person. 300, 400. Cold countries are getting significantly colder than the other ones. still need people infected to spread and die and become zombies not just a zombie horde because the zombies consume themselves what we learned in the last playthrough infected more people than TB number one killer in the world is stressed More people than each other. In a normal checkup, a doctor in West Africa found a new disease which has been named stress. It appears to be mostly harmless but must be investigated further. Other countries are also reporting of this disease. Olympics will begin soon despite stress. Will people bring the disease to Brazil? West Africa is first to instruct doctors to begin the research into a cure for stress without greater funding. It's expected to take a long time. People with stress came to Rio and spread the disease. It should have never gone ahead. Order to analyze in the lab the cases which are a research of speed. Now stress is beginning to spread around the world, you can take a minute. I love the bad text though. Early analysis of stress in Morocco has identified cellular region abilities which could cause tumors. Governments tells people not to panic. Twenty-one 
ಕೇಳಿಸ್ಕೊಡಿ Mutates develop hyper salivation symptoms as well. First country to try it limit the spread. Very infected all of them. All the negative changes. Thank you very much. Um, partial genetic activation causes bats to mob and attack humans at night. Significantly increases infect infectivity and attacks on the human. to the zombies. First death in control. One enough deaths to actually give her what is for its cure. Um coma. Fourteen will make sense for that Polyphasia. Well, one point two billion infected. China has infected. Maybe Australia is very. Uh, okay, for Australia, twenty five point two. Russia has started to send the research teams to infected countries, hoping to speed up development of a cure for stress. Pop blue bubbles to destroy all the research. Research doctors all around the world are completely focused on developing a cure for stress. And spike something. 15. Now, can't evolve. Drug resistance abilities can slow cure. Cure distress is almost finished. Stress is starting to turn corpses into infected. Okay, now. People are dying in Egypt faster than new people are being infected. Zombie So now, we make sure we get into China. Careful, stress is 95 to complete it. Okay, I've got 900 zombies in there. Cure for being stressed is deployed worldwide. Develop cannibalism symptom with absolute DNA. Increase the severity of stress to make zombies more deadly at the same time evolve to slow the rate of zombie decay and make it harder for humans to kill zombies in combat. Should we uh, use the zombies we get? Based on overwhelming evidence, governments confirm that stress can trigger pathological aggression in corpses. Let's say that the situation is under control. 
statistics show stress is the deadliest plague ever. It kills over 300 million people worldwide. Where's a man's mailbox? The USA's got 60,000 zombies. In fact, Canada has a zombie screen. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Hundreds of thousands of zombies. Zombie hordes. Okay, in the response, so we need to try and get these guys down. So Kazakhstan's got zero. Neighbors. Digestive enzymes from cells slowing the composition of the corpse. And reanimating some of the dead. Higher brain processing and personality. They are the ones that actually give us um, better combat stuff. Yeah. 